Good morning, church. I uh, pray you're all well. And uh, yeah, hey, it was great to see so many of you last night and the online Zoom meeting. It was great to be praying together and uh, just hearing how each other's doing that. Uh, so thanks for all those who joined with us. That was a good time. And um, certainly, just on the back of that, I wanted to really uh, encourage the church this morning, encourage us all. Um, you know, last night I shared about the story. They count there in Acts chapter 10 of Peter going to Cornelius. And I was just thinking a little more about that this morning too. And, you know, Cornelius, it says there at the beginning of Acts chapter 10, it says he was a devout man. Um, so he was a sincere and committed man. He was a God-fearing man, it says. He said he feared God with all his household and he gave alms. So he was a charitable man and prayed to God often. So here was this Gentile, Cornelius, and uh, he was a centurion, uh, also in the in the army in the Italian regiment. But he was a devout man, you know, who feared God, gave alms, and prayed to God regularly. And so we'd say, "Wow, there's a there's a God fearing person there," and that and sounds like a great character, be a great influence on people. He obviously um, is a man to be commended. And then God uses Peter in an incredible way, um, to go to Cornelius to give him final bit of revelation. And Peter goes to Cornelius and tells him how to be saved. So here we have this God-fearing man, uh, in a sense it says there that he is a devout man who feared God, him and his household, charitable, and someone who prayed to God. And yet God sends Peter um, to give him further revelation. And actually the message that actually that Peter shares with him, uh, we read at the end of, um, I think it's in verse 43 of uh, Acts chapter 10, uh, Peter explains to him that it was to Jesus all the prophets witness, that through his name, through Christ's name, that whoever believes in him will receive remission of sins. And just in light of that, you know, we live in a, in a country, and I'm sure many of us know, people who possibly would fit this bill. Um, devout people, fear God, God-fearing people, um, them and their families, who are very charitable and who pray to God regularly. And actually in verse, I think it's 30 of the Acts chapter 10, it talks that you know, Cornelius also, it was when he was fasting, that the angel appeared to him and, and told him to send to Joppa to, so that Peter would come to him to explain and give him further revelation. And that. so this guy fasted as well. And perhaps many of us know people like that. And I want to encourage us this morning to just pause for a minute and think of those people this morning and then pray for them. And then do something further. Ask God to maybe use you in a Peter-like scenario to give them that revelation of their faith. That the further revelation of the faith that salvation is in Christ. And maybe you can do that by, at this time in lockdown, you can send them just a, a little, maybe it's a verse of scripture. You could send them a little video call. Or you could send them just an email. Um, something and encourage them at this time just if the, if the Lord's put it on your hearts uh, for someone and uh, you know maybe it's even sending in a verse of scripture and so it can be read out on the Sunday service we know that so many have been encouraged uh, and we've, we've received emails from people being encouraged as far afield as um, in America um, people is watching in Italy in England and, uh, and all across Ireland, in various places, and around Clare here too. So maybe God would use one of the scriptures, that maybe God would on your heart, that would speak truth, that would give further revelation to people um, at this time. So church, let's remember that, um, you know, the, the truth of the word of God, that is the word of God, it's sharper than any two-edged sword, which we were reminded of last night uh, at the meeting. And it's the, it's the word of God that will that will cut through 
all the false ideas and everything else. But also it will bring the revelation that salvation is found in Jesus. Church, be blessed this morning. Be inspired this morning. God is moving. God is using this time and he wants us all to be a part of it. So church, think of someone, pray for someone and maybe send them a verse of encouragement. Um, that just as we've received revelation, we've received the love of God that others may do as well. Listen, God bless you and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Uh, have a good day and a good week. Hey, and tune in um, to the Zoom meetings uh, during the week and also send your verses of, of encouragement and so they can be read out on Sunday mornings as well. God bless you and see you soon.